Chiefs fans, we're back with another exclusive update, bringing you the latest news and insights. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video to stay on top of all things Chiefs. Now, let's get to today's news. The Chiefs recently made a noteworthy move by signing a two-way player, but the big question remains, will he make an impact in the NFL this season? To think about what you guys said coming up in just a little while from right now, before we go any further in today's show, it is a victory Monday. You know what that means, spam W in the comments section. I want to see at least 300 WS to celebrate that Chiefs win, staying undefeated at 7-0 the only unbeaten team in the NFL. Doesn't it feel nice? Get those W's in the comments section, and we'll get started with today's show. Let's begin with Travis Kels. Travis Kels had an outstanding performance on Sunday, as he led the Chiefs in receiving with 10 catches for 90 yards and a touchdown score. The thing that everybody was talking about when it came to Travis Kels after yesterday's win was that he is still the best tight end in the NFL. I'm going to use a UFC term, and still. That hasn't been away from him. He's still Mahomes' go-to-target. It is not an overreaction to say that Travis Kels is still the best in the NFL. Is he the same player that he was a couple of years ago? Probably not, if we're going to be honest with you. Sure, he has slowed down a little bit, but when push comes to shove, Time and time again, Travis Kels comes through. When you think about what this Chiefs team is dealing with right now, let's be frank here. We know how the receiver situation has played out with the injuries to Rashid Rice and Hollywood Brown. You don't have Isaiah Pacheco right now. You bring in DeAndre Hopkins, and obviously, you had the injury to Juju and all of that. Yet, you look at Travis Kels. This is a guy that is so good that he faces so many double teams, and opposing defenses try to coordinate their entire game plan on slowing down Travis Kelce. Even with all that in mind, he still came through with a big game yesterday against the Las Vegas Raiders. Here's the other thing with Kelce. I know last year was a down year for him. He got off to a slow start in 2024 and all that. But what did he do last year in the postseason? He came alive in crunch time. When we've seen these injuries with the receiver position, Kels has stepped up the last couple of weeks. When Kels needs to have a big moment, when the Chiefs need him to come through, he continues to make it happen time and time again. Do not write off Travis Kels. He is still the best in football. He is the man, and this Chiefs offense would not be the same without Travis Kels. That has not changed, I can guarantee you that much. Let me ask you, is Travis Kell still the best tight end in the National Football League? It's our pinned comment today. Let us know what you think, type Y for yes and N for no. Chime in and sound off if you think Travis Kells is still that guy. It is Victory Monday, as we mentioned, and I want to make sure that you sub for dubs. The best way to celebrate that Chiefs win is by subscribing to the Chiefs Report. We are bringing you non-stop Chiefs coverage you won't find anywhere else. We're live every Tuesday afternoon. We're bringing you our daily news and rumors, our watch parties on game days, breaking news just like today's trade. We gather our resources together and bring you a video as quick as we can. We are also doing weekly mailbags and game previews. It's all in one place right here in the Kansas City Chiefs Report. If you are a die-hard member of the Chiefs Kingdom and you love the Kansas City Chiefs, this is the channel for you. Subscribe now for free today for daily Chiefs coverage right here on the Chiefs Report. We're closing in on 60,000 subscribers, about 200 away from that next month. We need your help to get there. Subscribe now for free. All right, let's transition now and talk about DeAndre Hopkins. His debut was a bit underwhelming, not an overreaction, but I think it is very dismissive to count out DeAndre Hopkins just after one game. Let me explain why. You look at the stats from DeAndre Hopkins on Sunday. He accounted for two catches for 29 yards 
14.5 yards per reception in the win on Sunday. He didn't really do a whole lot, if we're being honest with you. But what did Andy Reid tell us just a couple of weeks ago when there were all the 